I'm Tracy. And I'm Andy. And this episode was a whirlwind of so lies, much drums. Lies, 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 Drums, drums, drums. And we have got to get right to it. So Wait, you, do you hear that? Is that, is that what I think it is? Choo -choo 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 it's the Nailed that one. That right? was really it. Good when you saw me rolling in I and you heard that noise, you were like, I think it's the train. Mm -hmm. um, okay, you guys, we have got to talk about this episode. We go back to Denver and he meets, uh, of course, yes. our other Denver batch, yes. Ben Higgins. I forgot that he was from Denver too. So when that he was showed like up, a, that was like a quick beat. Ben Higgins is there to give him love advice because his worked out so well, I guess. Yeah. But whatever. Oh, I know. I know. But anyway, what and was so, the one takeaway? It was kind of the theme of this episode. Lean in. Yeah. Right. Whatever you do, lean in. Yeah. Listen what does to that them. mean, lean in? Talk your to heart's them. on the line. Listen to them. Listen to your gut. So then we get our first one on one. Uh, well, actually, all the girls meet in the park and they get to meet his cute little dog, Sniper. And they're all like, mm -hmm. and he's like, Tasia. I know. Well, first of all, yeah. surprised by that. Yeah, I was surprised I was by that I was not too. expecting you to be Tasia. That's the first, I was like, oh. And you could just feel oh. the, the discomfort is. Sucked out of the room. Yeah, tangible. They're literally just there like. Uh -huh. Okay, but anyway, so then we get into, they're sitting there and they're talking. And Colton is obviously very upset because in the previous episode, three mm -hmm. of the women had said somebody or some people here are not ready. Great teases, right? And he couldn't get past it, but Who he did knew you in his think? mind. Well, we talked about it last right. week. We thought Hannah B. Right. It turns out I thought not, not, not at all. Hannah B. I thought Kaylin. Okay. Well, so. What I was not expecting uh -huh. was for Tasha to actually say names. One thing I want to talk about is what she said they said. Okay. Exactly well, yes. what she Which, said by the they way, said. Nothing. Because not one person okay. ever brought that up. To that was what Colton. was so annoying. That's the whole thing that's so annoying. Do you know what not I mean? one of the ladies talking to Colton said, she, she did. well, Cassie said the following. No, what, not, what they no, all kept she, saying she was didn't. that I heard Katie say that she heard yeah. Cassie and Kaylin talking about how they. Uh, want to be the bachelorette. Didn't want to get married, aren't ready to get married, and they want to be the bachelorette. Right. I'm sure those conversations happen because there is only going to be one winner. But that Every doesn't one of mean, the girls in well, that house said that at one but point. But that doesn't of mean course. that they don't want if. to win. The question I'm sure gets asked. Right. Of course. If you, you were asked win, to be the bachelorette, would, you do, would you do it? And then someone says, sure. And then someone goes, oh, she's oh, not here Not right just reasons. someone. Katie goes, oh, oh, I heard this. And then Kirpa Katie's goes, Katie's also not there anymore. And so exactly. Katie very Who knows what she said? Well, Katie also very easily could have said, oh, yeah, if I'm not picked, I would be the bachelorette. Right. Like, it could have all been in that context. OK, so the next one on one was Kaylin, which mm -hmm. made perfect sense because Tasia yeah. had just brought her up. Welcome to the Continental Divide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, so they go snowboarding. Kaylin's never snowboarded. Colton teaches her how to snowboard. It's very cute. La la la. They're yeah. on a the deck. Then they go to the deck. They go to the deck. <laughs> and he goes, I've had a great day with you, and it's probably 11. Yeah. This has <laughs> been a really fun day <laughs> that, that down the bunny slope. Yeah. But what we really need to discuss now is, and, so, and then he confronts her. And Kaylin is totally thrown off. Oh, for sure. You can tell that she did Spinning not, in her head. Yeah, yeah. did not Deer see. Deer in the headlights, right? What was, she did not expect this at all. She was like, anybody but me. And what you want is for her to like throw something and be like, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, this is not why me. Would you, way, like, why would you think out. that? Yeah. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, get heated and said, they're like, that's not true. Yeah, well, because. And it, it totally makes him look guilty. She, imagine, looked, it's so she couldn't not, have looked more it's guilty. It's so not true. I'm really here imagine for you. Imagine in you any other instance. Right, in any other instance, if you were accused of. Oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's real glass. Luckily, and real roses. No, By the way, just real. for a second, when it actually left my hand, I was like, that was a bad bad. <laughs> like this is a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> so yeah, so then they go, they 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 go to dinner, yeah. and she finally gets to speak her mind, where she's had some time to think about it, and she says, "I really, I wouldn't be here." If I didn't really like you, I see myself, and I see myself marrying you and having yeah. kids. She told him yeah. what he wanted kids, to hear. Having kids is, in his mind, I think, the golden ticket. He gives her the rose, and and it's all, and he's like, and he tells her, "Love you, yeah. I'm, I'm falling in love with you." Yeah, which I was surprised by. He, he said it that to lot. her, which yeah. was crazy. <laughs> all right, so moving on, then we go to our final one-on-one -on -one with with Hannah B. Yeah, I'm like, and this one started off great, and I will say, Hannah B is likable. She's got that accent, that smile, and she was going she's in. She's cute. And she had no idea how this was gonna. Oh, uh, she's she like a puppy so, dog. She's yeah. like a puppy dog, so right? She, so basically, long story short, of what happened is Hannah B thinks she's having a great time, and then he. They they go to dinner. And well, she was. He dumped her at the and Air Force like, hangar. And she's like, I'm still following in love with you. Like, blah, blah, blah. And, <laughs> and he's, he's like, like but interesting. I'm still escorting you out. Can I walk yeah. you out? And there was then, a moment. Sadly, he's like, okay. You know, if I'm pulling this out, you know what that means. So um, so the the group date happens, and immediately, and I respect Heather for this, she just comes in and she's like, Well, he also, he yeah. keeps it up. He's like, I really am serious now. I'm not yeah. going to your hometown unless this is for real. Yeah. And, and she, she kind of went, Ooh. And you know what? It was perfect for her. I love it. She had just gotten her kiss. You're not in love with him. Like, yeah. It's okay, time. you're happy, you had a nice time, you're ready to go home. She it, didn't shed a tear. Bye, Heather. Um, so then we get our World War Three, Cassie 
Kerpa. Which, by the yeah. way, Kerpa, she's now a villain? Wait, like, the Kerpa has not It's said... hard not to be a villain when you don't smile. Kerpa's chin got more screen time than she did the entire season. Th and that's then, so like, true. Just, and then now, all of a sudden, you're like... My favorite line that Cassie said is she goes, Kerpa, this reeks of desperation. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, damn. But I like Cassie, but in this in this episode and in this situation specifically, I was like, yeah. when she went and sat with Col Colton, she said everything I wanted Kaylin to say. Right. Yeah, Like, exactly. she was legit. You could tell she was upset. Yeah. Everything that Cassie was saying, Kaylin tried to defend herself to exactly. a certain extent, and I appreciate it. Cassie was just very much like, it, it she didn't, almost gave what you I wanted, which was the yeah, table like upside down. Like She what? was actually getting genuinely frustrated. Right. It didn't happen. I didn't say it. It didn't happen. But I think the difference is, Kaylin was was blindsided. Cassie had a heads up from Kaylin. I kind of feel like Hannah G got the short end of the stick, because she gets the rose, yeah. goes back. She don't need no drama. But she's she taking the, the high road. No, that's it. She, she just gets, gets Yeah, she's like... But in that moment, she's probably like, oh. just send me, great. She's just like, send yes, me back to the yes. house with my rose, I'm good. So then Kaylin comes back in and talks to Colton, but we don't see what she says. No, no that was, was good. Are we ever going to see? I, I don't know. That's going to come out. But how do we feel tell about all? her doing that? I didn't like it. I hated it. It broke format, and you're not allowed to do that. It's like, oh, It didn't bother just, me. Right. But it made me wonder if she went in and said, here's what happened. Yeah, we were talking about it because we realized oh, yeah. only one person can win. If we were said, if we were asked, we had brought that up. But yep. we are here for you. But let's point. be real, Kerpa was going home anyway. So yeah. thank goodness he gave the rose to Cassie. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he and Cassie got to go and have like the rest of their night together on the roof with the champagne. Yeah, They're that dangerous. was sweet. That's where I thought that Hannah slope. G got the yeah, got she a little bit of the shaft. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, okay, so we are down to our final four. Cassie. Kaylin. Cassie. Hannah G and Tasia. We gotta talk about what happens next week. We, what a we, tease. Except for we don't get the fence jump. We it's don't never gonna happen. happen. It's so, never gonna happen. So it's clearly not next week. It's gotta be F Fantasy Suites. Um, so we get Ooh. Hometowns next week. We get a skydive with a nice shrill scream from Colton. Which, oh, yeah. I thought about it. As soon as he did it, I, I thought, I hope that you would imitate it so that I don't You're have awesome. to. Yeah. And then we got a little button at the end, which was so funny, where it turned out that Tasia sat on chocolate. She really sat in it. A big thanks to y'all for joining us once again. Tune in next week when we talk all about hometowns. And comment below to tell us what you and think. Tell us, and tell us who you think the Bachelorette could be. Because I gotta I get my know. check, guys. Yeah. Ah!